you know I had a dream in my dream angels were there and I was in heaven really yes and I wish that dream could come again I want to learn more about dreams um if you want to learn more about dreams come let's go and ask up uncle yes come on Good morning, Uncle. Hey, good morning. Good morning, morning. Betsy. Come here. How are you, Betsy? I'm fine. It seems you are very happy. Please sit down. It's an answer. It seems very. You are very happy. Yes. You want to ask something else? Yeah. By the way, you are all enjoying Daily Diamonds. Yes, we are. Yeah. yeah. I want to. Very good. Yeah. Tell me. So what? What for, Sylvia? I want to know. But hey, did you have a dream? Yes. You have. Yeah. Okay. So you want to know more about dream? Yes. So, see, God communicates with the children in many ways. There are many ways God can communicate. Through the word of God, in prayer, through prophecy, uh, through people, through incidents, through signs. There are so many ways God can communicate with His children. But one more unique way is dream. Dream is it's a very powerful tool for you to understand what God is speaking with you. So dream from God is very, very special. Very special. That happened in the life of Jesus also. Really? <laughs> yes. In his daily diamonds, I'm sure I'm so happy to share with you. This dream played a very, very important role. When Mary was conceived by the Holy Spirit to bring for Jesus out, Joseph didn't like the concept. Joseph didn't understand. Because he was a good person, he was about to secretly reject Mary. But what happened, you know? Angel of God appeared in a dream and spoke to Joseph about this incident. And that's how Joseph accepted Mary. Oh. That's the first incident. That, that's God's power. That's the power of communication. Right? The second thing, if you see, when when the wise men went to palace, Herod got disturbed. Herod, right? Yes. King Herod was disturbed. So what he did, he, he, he spoke cunningly to these uh, wise people and, it's, and he said, you go and find out where the king is born and I'll also come and worship him. Which is really a hidden agenda, in agenda. So what happened is, you know, at the time, again they had a dream not to go back to the palace and go back another another way. Oh. That's how child Jesus was protected. So to bring forth, again a communication was sent. Now the child to be protected. That Jesus should be called as Nazarene. From Bethlehem, they have to move to Egypt, and then from Egypt, they have to move to Nazareth. Nice. So, in Egypt, when they were there, um, you know, again, the parents were communicated through dream Drinks. to take and uh, go with the child to Nazareth. Uh, so, that's the power of dream. So, I believe that God is speaking with you, Ma Betsy. Yes. Yes? You loved it? Yeah, I wish that dream could come again. Again? But you have to write the dream and keep it forever. That's yes, going to be forever. a greater thing. Yes? yes? Yes. So God communicates through various means through His people. And that's why you can see with these small, little, beautiful children, especially with Betsy and Mercy, God has given the beautiful dreams. And the same dream, the kind of dream happened in the birth of Jesus. To bring forth Jesus here, to protect Jesus here, and to fulfill the prophecy, the same dream, in a dream, the communication from God was sent. The same way God can speak with you. If you haven't believed God yet, just ask God to speak with you. He will speak with you in so many ways, and one such unique way is a dream. God will speak to you, whatever your situation might be. 
your situation might be confusing you might be in a dynamo situation you might be like um, um you the trade situation or some you might be in a dangerous situation whatever situation you need help of god you need a communication from god ask for a dream ask for the communication of god god will speak to you our god is a speaking god he is a lively lively god he is living god and god bless you